We are both deafblind. Our journeys are very different. Heather, she was born deaf, she used to see. I was born blind and I used to hear. Michelle is a pianist and is deaf blind. And Heather Lawson is a performer. And they came up to me and said, Jody, we want to make a show that's going to tour the world. And I was like, oh my God. So the only way she knows what's happening is through touch. Is by feeling the yes, Auslan correct. with her own hands. Yes. Looking back from your eyes. The aim is to show people the pain and the survival of being deaf blind. Turning Michelle's lived experience into an artistic performance, how do you do that? What we do as artists, um, we break rules. It's been four or five years of working out how we do this show. The show is now a month away, so I don't know what to expect, actually. They'll be given an insight into what it's like to be someone who can't hear or see. Some people can find it at first a really frightening experience. But it's actually okay. With support, you're fine. Amazing. It's really important to respect their story and to not skim over the, the incredible depth of who they are. I had very bad mental health troubles. I felt lost. I felt alone. We've been invited to perform at Sydney Festival. The wall of Australia will know about deafblind art, that it's possible. And we show the world what they never thought could happen. happen. This is the beginning of our art, not the finish. And the award goes to Jodie Mundine. <laughs>